we introduce solid kneading, a new fabrication technique that combines the layer-by-layer -layer volumetric approach of 3D printing with the stitch structure of kneading to produce solid 3D objects. Knit fabric is made up of loops. Pulling yarn through an existing loop creates a new loop. In solid knitting, one pulls yarn through those loops again to create new loops in the next layer of fabric. By repeating this process layer by layer, solid 3D objects can be constructed. We developed a solid knitting machine to automate the process. Here is the basic configuration of the machine. It has needles, holders, and retaining needles. Holders can change their state between open and closed. Here are basic operations to create a new row. Step 1. Tuck. Place a new span of yarn beneath the holder hooks using the retaining needles. Step 2. Transfer needle to holder. Move loops from the left needles to the right holders. Step 3. Transfer holder to needle. Move loops from the left holders to the left needles. At this point in the process, the retaining needles hold a new yarn, the red yarn in the diagram. The right holders hold the yellow loops, the previous row of the current layer, and the left needles have the blue loops, the loops from the previous layer. Now the machine will pull the red yarn through both the yellow and the blue loops. Step 4. Knit. The left needles pull the red yarn through the loops to create a new row of loops. Step 5. Release. The yarn is released from the retaining needles. Repeating this process creates a new layer, row by row. We developed a design tool to help program our machine. In our tool, Users design objects by connecting different types of blocks, what we call augmented stitch volumes. As an example, we show how to add a row on top of this incomplete triangular prism. Here we are adding knit blocks. Those blocks are associated with program fragments that represent machine operations. Next, we add loop next layer blocks and drop blocks. Finally, we add some blocks to finish the design. After finishing the design, we click Regenerate Code, and our tool combines the code fragments from each block into a program for our machine. Here the machine runs the generated code to construct a triangular prism. Note that cast on for the first row of the first layer and bind off for the last row of the last layer need to be done manually. Here are the results. They are stretchable and bendable, but also dense and firm. Thank you for watching.